when Microsoft transitioned from uh, VB6, the standalone, uh, the VB-based uh, uh, virtual machine and the standalone VB product and integrating that with CLR, I'm not sure because social media was not so active, but we heard stories that the Visual Basic MVPs and the community took a march from Bellevue uh, to Redmond campus, asking them to retain Visual Basic and continue that as a standalone tool. How, how true is that? <laughs> I, I, I would say like, you know, it, it's one of those cases where it was a, a tough journey and a very tough decision for uh, Microsoft, okay? Because we had sort of come out with VB, VB2, VB3, 4, 5, VB6 had come out and VB6 was incredibly successful, okay? But the world was also moving fast. You know, we had Java coming out and we had to decide like, you know, hey, what are we going to do? Are we going to embrace Java or do we need to do something different? But, but give similar capabilities to the world, to the developers, to the programmers kind of thing. And, and, and as you know, a lot of it is history, but like you know, we came out with .NET and we had to make a decision, right? And for a long, long time, the one decision that we weren't sure of and we were going back and forth was how, how important was it to maintain VB6 compatibility, okay? And we knew that if we maintain, if VB6 compatibility was a top order priority, then we knew we wouldn't really make the switch to .NET, at least for VB in a way that gets you all the benefits of managed code and sort of, you know, managed language runtime kind of thing. We just couldn't do that. Okay. Uh, I remember like, you know, one of the, one of the technical fellows that, uh, at Microsoft who was there at Microsoft for a long time, Brad Lovering, uh, he was working on this particular problem and the kind of debates and the discussions and sort of trade-offs and like, you know, people being on different ends of the spectrum on deciding whether like, you know, hey, compatibility or like move to the new world and still try to preserve as much of the VP goodness as possible, right? And I think the thing that, that I think we knew that was going to cause a lot of pain to people, no matter what decision we make, because for some, it may be like, you know, hey, compatibility is good, but there would have been a short term gain. And as the world moved on, the VP crowd would have been left behind and behind and behind, okay? So, but if you take a long term view, in the short term, the people who sort of bet their lives, bet their careers on VB had to come back to a learning curve to learn something new. And they didn't, some of them di just didn't want to do that. Some of them were sort of grudgingly willing to do that. And so it, it was a very, what I call tough, emotional decision. Uh, and we didn't take it lightly, but we knew that no matter which direction we took, some people were going to be excited and some people were not going to be excited. And we worked really hard to figure out how best once we made the decision that we could bring as many people over as possible to be with us on the journey longer term, as opposed to being left behind. Absolutely. I was very much a part of uh, that transition from classic traditional Visual Basic to VB.net. And I, I remember how difficult it was to convince developers. So, right. and, so, and so the I, the, I'll tell you one more realization I had then, right? You know, sometimes we sit and make technology decisions because we think like, you know, hey, this technology is going to be better and the technology is going to be better. But 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 it is Im imperative that we remember there is a whole lot of people out there who take a bet on your technology, who are sort of, you know, relying on your technology day in and day out for their family, for their lifestyle, for whatever they are doing. And you have to, you, you need to realize that you have that responsibility when you make the decision. Doesn't mean you're going to make decisions that's going to be uh, satisfying to people all the time, always kind of thing. But you need to understand that you have the responsibility and be thoughtful about what decisions you make and when you make and how you make those decisions.